Dr. McCleary, can you talk about how you came across the connection between brain health and obesity and a little bit about your background? Well, my background is in the neurosciences. I, for many years, practiced as a pediatric neurosurgeon, which means that I did brain surgery in children. And the kids that I operated on had very sick brains. They had brain tumors or brain cancer, congenital malformations, pressure on the brain, hemorrhages and strokes. And after their surgery, their recovery period was frequently measured in weeks and months, not just days. And to speed up that process and to make the recovery uh, more complete, I was always on the lookout and investigating other adjunctive therapies and nutrition and nutritional support is something that I became interested in about 30 years ago. And when I put children on special diets, I saw that they recovered more rapidly and more completely. And as they recovered and were able to transition to receiving their care and therapy at home, uh, they ate a modified diet and their parents actually saw the benefits in the children, so they started following an adult version of the diet. They felt better, thought they were thinking more clearly, had more mental energy, and oh, by the way, they lost weight. And that's really how I backed into the whole brain-belly connection. Are you finding in, in your pa patients or you know, population in general that people are starting to accept that there is a relationship between the two, or is that since you know the two organs are far enough apart that it's people aren't really making that connection yet? Well, I think that um, that's a very good question. And uh, let's look at it professionally. There are brain researchers called neuroscientists who are looking into memory disorders and specifically Alzheimer's disease. And in the last couple of years, they're starting to refer to Alzheimer's disease as a state of brain starvation. And when the, what they mean is that the brain is not receiving the appropriate nutrients it needs on a day-to-day -day basis, and it's suffering. So it's like we're starving our brains, and all of those calories we're eating are going to our bellies. And that really is the, uh, the central concept in the book, Feed Your Brain, Lose Your Belly.